Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to start any diesel, regardless of the weather, uh, whatever. So it's probably, I don't know how cold it is outside, I would say 30 degrees-ish, maybe a little less, probably about 40 degrees in here. But my Humvee here, uh, that has a 6.5 Detroit diesel, has been having a really rough time starting up. I've got um, some issues, I think the timing advanced solenoid on it's bad. So I've been doing this for the past few days to get it to fire up, and it works like a charm. It'll work for any diesel, not just a um, 6.5, but 6.5s are notoriously hard to cold start when they're having issues because they have a lot of compression. So first things first, let me pop them in the hood here. So, go ahead and come over here. So, once you get your hood, here, come all the way over here. Once you get your hood popped open, um, you're gonna go ahead and wanna locate your intake area. Um, really, for this, go ahead and film the, the intake, there you go. For this, um, you're gonna want to try and get as close to your intake manifold as possible. So it kind of just depends on, you know, what's easy for you to take off. On the Humvees here, you get to the air filter in this little, this or this big canister here. So I'm gonna take off this cover, pull out the air filter, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so I've got this cover pulled off. Really, I think for this trick to work, you basically are gonna need to pull out um, at least you know, your air filter and whatever vehicle you're doing this on. So I'm gonna get this air filter pulled out. Okay, but yeah, I would at least go out that far. If you don't get your air filter pulled out, the filter is probably gonna block um, all the warm air. There's a big old Humvee air filter. Okay, so let me take the camera real quick. So this next step here, do a little recenter. So as you can see there, that is kind of like a, that's where my air filter would go over. <clears throat> so for this, I'm going to be using this entrance here. I would find at least a, up to that point on whatever vehicle you're on. But take this hair dryer. Here you can film me again. Oh, the gyro is all weird. So the next step is to find your wife or your girlfriend's hair dryer and ask for forgiveness, not permission. Say it with me. Ask for forgiveness. No, it would be more funny, but she's legitimately mad about this. <laughs> so. You want to take it and stick it into your intake as best you can. Um, and then, here, go ahead, film that. And then I actually, so you see how I have it right in there. I'm going to turn it on, turn on the hottest setting, turn it on the most powerful blower, and that will pump a lot of hot air into my intake, obviously. I also like to get rags and jam them on the side to keep the hot air from escaping. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Really, the longer you can leave it, the better, um, because it'll it'll totally heat up your entire intake manifold, and the heat will get in farther. And diesel needs two things to run. It needs heat, and it needs fuel. So if you're having starting issues in the cold, um, you know, you're probably having something go wrong with the heat aspect. So... We're going to get it good and hot. Uh, another thing you can do is take like a camp stove or a, um, a space heater and actually just put it under your motor, under your, under your oil pan, and uh, fire it up and let that run for about 10 minutes or so. And uh, that'll let your block and your oil and fluids and stuff get nice and warm. I usually don't do that, um, but it probably would help. So 
we're going to be back in like 20 minutes and uh, I will show you how this starts. Without this, this thing will typically almost not start at all. So we'll be back. All right, guys. So it's been, it's been about half an hour. Um, so yeah, before you do this, you know, get yourself some, or after you do it, get yourself some breakfast, take a shower or whatever. But what you want to do is uh, just feel, I mean, you can feel this. This part is really hot. Right up by the intake, it's warm to the touch. So that's a pretty good sign you're about ready to go. So the next step you want to do is make sure you pull your rags out of your intake if you did that, or else you'll suck those in. And uh, basically you just, you just fire it up. So let me open the garage here. So it's not going to start quite as good as it would if, for instance, the uh, I think on mine the uh, timing advanced solenoid, cold advanced solenoid was working, or whatever other you know problem you have, it probably won't start quite as good. You'll have to crank it a little longer, uh, but it'll start. So keep in mind this thing before I do this basically will not start. You have to crank and crank and crank for a really long time. So let's see what happens. Provided I don't give it any gas, I just crank like I normally would be. We're letting the glow plugs warm up here. Back up here so they can hear. So, there you have it. It had to crank a little bit longer than I'm comfortable with, you know. Uh, Definitely fix the issue so you don't wear out your starter. Don't just do this for years and years. But it started up, smoked a little bit as you saw, um, but that's how you do it. So now all that's left, take the air dryer out, put your filter back in or whatever you gotta do, uh, let it warm up. And uh, once it's warmed up, even if you shut it off, it, you know, it should fire right up if, if what you're having is some kind of heating issue or time in advance or whatever. So thank you guys for watching. If this was helpful, I hope you can go ahead and give me a subscribe or a like, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.